I compiled a bunch of data to find out what the best IT certification is out there. When you take a look at these different sites that make recommendations, they all make different recommendations. So how do you know what is going to be the best certification? So what I did is I took a look at the 10 biggest sites that are out there that make recommendations for IT certifications. I compiled it all into a spreadsheet to find out what is the most recommended certs. So in this video, I'm going to cover the most recommended IT certification categories, the most recommended IT certification vendors, and the highest recommended IT certifications in this career. Then I'm going to wrap everything up by talking about what I would recommend based on the level that you are at. Out of all of the resources that I went over and everything that I read, there was a total of 113 recommendations. I took those recommendations and I rendered them down into different categories. And so what I want to do is cover the category. So this tells you what are the industry's hot topics right now. And so there was a total of six categories that kind of bubbled up to the top for me. So in the sixth and fifth position would be networking and data. Networking and data, not a huge amount of recommendations around networking and data. There were six recommendations that had to do with networking and seven around data. So it definitely was out there, but not in a huge form there. The next two categories are closely related together as well. Uh, we have leadership and project management. I just lumped them up into one, uh, one bar graph here. Total, a total of 19 different recommendations had to deal with leadership or project management. And then there was architecting. There was a total recommendations of 20 that had to do with architect in the title. So the, you can see that these are a little bit hotter topics than networking or data. Then, not to any surprise, there's a huge jump up when it comes to security. 42 recommendations in total that have to do with security. So a very hot topic here. And then finally, there is the cloud. Things that are in the cloud are huge right now. It's a big part of the industry. And so there's 49 recommendations that had to deal with the cloud. Out of the 113 recommendations, I also rendered things down in the top IT certification vendors. This is the hottest vendors, where you should be getting your certifications from. I've chosen out the top seven, and in place number seven is CompTIA. I do like CompTIA certifications. They tend to be a little bit easier to get, and they're a little more generic, but intentionally so. They don't go over, over specific products like a Cisco or a Microsoft or a Google or an Amazon certification would be around a specific product line. And so CompTIA doesn't do that. They have a really broad range of certifications, and so it's a good one to go after, especially as you're getting into to the market. But this is more for entry level positions and because of that there is only six recommendations around CompTIA. The next one are Cisco certifications. There was a total of seven around Cisco. Cisco does have a broad range of Cisco certifications. They tend to be, well they are more focused on Cisco products. Uh, when I think Cisco, I think more networking. So it's great certifications for networking, but I'm not sure as much around the other certifications from Cisco. Uh, there's a total of seven recommendations around Cisco. Then there is in place number five is Microsoft. There's a total number of nine recommendations around Microsoft and Microsoft is obviously vendor specific. It's all around their operating systems and their Azure cloud offering. Number four on our list is ISC2 with a total number of 14 recommendations. ISC2 stands for International Information System Security Certification Consortium. So their model is all around certifications around security. Now, even though there's 14 recommendations, most of those recommendations are around one certification. So that puts this in tie with Google, 
But I put Google as our next one on here because Google had a more broader recommendation over many of their certifications. So ICS2 just had a few rec uh, recommended certifications where Google had more. So total number 14 recommendations for Google products. Number two on our list is ISACA. ISACA had a total number of 15 recommendations. ISACA stands for Information Systems Audit and Control Association. So here again, a lot of their stuff has to do with security and specifically around auditing of security. And number one in our vendor list here is AWS with a total of 19 recommendations dealing with AWS. AWS is Amazon Web Services. It's all up in the cloud. I'm a huge fan of Amazon and specifically Amazon Web Services. And so these are great certific certifications and some of the highest recommended certifications in the industry. Hey, in a second, we're gonna go over the top IT certifications. What I want you to do is think about which certifications you want to go after and put it down in the comments below. Also, when you're down there, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Time for the main event. Let's take a look at the top IT certifications. I took a look at 10 different articles and rendered down the list to 13 recommendations here. Number 13 on the list is the Cisco Certified Network Professional. I put this as number 13 though, is because Cisco is not one of the hotter vendors when it comes to certifications. Number 12 is Microsoft, and Microsoft is a hotter vendor out there. So I put this as number 12, and it's the Azure Solutions Architect Expert. Uh, then the next step up is the Certified Cloud Security Professional, or CCSP. Number 10 on the list is the Google Cloud Digital Leader. Number nine on the list is AWS Certified Security Specialist. And number eight on the list, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional. Number seven on our list is the Certified Ethical Hacker. Definitely one of the more popular security certifications because hey, it really sounds cool to be a certified ethical hacker. Number six on our list is the Certified Information System Auditor. It beats out the Certified Ethical Hacker just because these ISACA certifications is a hotter vendor with this. Number five on our list has been recommended in six of our 10 different articles, and that is the Project Management Professional, the PMP. So this is a very well-known certificate. It's taken the one of the hot certifications for a long time now. It is a great industry to get in. It's If you're into project management, this is the certification to get. Number four on our list also showed up in six different articles, but it also has the intensity of the hot vendor and a hot topic, which is the cloud. And that is the Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect. It has cloud in the name, it has architect in the name, it has Google in the name. So it is number four on our list. Number three on our list also showed up in six different articles, six of our 10 articles. And that is the Certified Information Security Manager. So this is a hot certification that's out there. And it's listed above this Google certification professional because it is a it has to do with security and it's ISACA, which is a hot vendor when it comes to certifications. So this is number three on our list. Number two on our list also came in recommended in six of our 10 different articles. And that is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Certification. This is a hot certification right now coming from a hot vendor, which makes it number two. In fact, you could even argue that this is in competitor with our number one certification. And it's possibly one that you wanna get in continuation to get these other certifications. So the AWS Certi Certified Solutions Architect is an amazing certification and it comes in number two on our list. And for our number one certification coming in at recommended eight out of our 10 different articles, it is the number one certification that is recommended. And that is the Certified Information System Security Professional or the CISP. This is a hot certification. It's been a hot certification for a long time and it is number one on our list. So there is the list of top IT certifications. You you couldn't go wrong with getting any of these certifications. Now, some of these are easier to get than others. 
For instance, the Certified Information Systems Security Professional, our number one on the list, is a very difficult certification to get. It's one of those certifications you've got to jump through the most hoops through to get. You have to study a ton of material. There are some big hurdles to tackle with this one. So it's not necessarily the one that you want to start out with. So there are a different set of recommendations that I would actually make over this list right here. Although you couldn't go wrong with, with any one of these certifications. So what would I recommend to you? Well, it's gonna depend on where you're at in your journey. There's a few certifications that I actually recommend that would don't even show up on that list. So let's take a look at what I actually recommend based off of where you're at in your journey. Now, one thing I like to do is kind of render it down. This is a bit of a simplistic model, but I like to render down your journey in your IT career into three stages. You have your entry level, and then you move into the professional level, and then you move into a specialty. So level one, how do we get into the entry level position? I'm looking at the entry level position as being more of like help desk or some sort of technician level position. You need to know about desktops to get into this possibly, or some sort of servers, or some sort of operating system, or some sort of networking. I look at it as two components, the operating system versus the networking side. Knowing some about networking, knowing some about the operating side. So how do you get that? Well, an A plus certification would do it, a server plus, Microsoft certifications, Network Plus CCNA would get into the network side of things, Security Plus, Linux Plus would be another example of this. So there are some certifications that can help you break into that market. Now, one thing to consider is A plus is a really well-known certification out there and really, it really can boost your standings to get into this help desk or technician position. Although it is somewhat basic, so it helps you to get into this entry level position, but it's not necessarily going to help you to advance to other levels. So you could consider instead of getting the A+, getting like a Microsoft certification. In my mind, getting a Microsoft and a CCNA, a Cisco certification, is kind of a dual, like a, a premium to get into these help desk technician uh, level positions. If you're wanting to progress in your career, don't stay in this entry level position too long. You need to start thinking, how do I advance and get into that professional realm? This would be a system or network administrator or engineer when you're actually working with the systems and when you start designing things. These AWS and Google certs are hot. Anything in the cloud market is hot. Security is a mandatory, so Security Plus is a good certification to break into here. And that next level, if you decide to take it within your career, is getting into more of a specialist where you are specializing in a certain area. Some of those specialties could be security, cloud, DevOps, networking, project management, management and leadership. So these are the different areas that you start narrowing down. That's when you're gonna really focus in on what are those more advanced certifications. Advanced certifications would be like the CISSP, AWS or a Google, the professional level of those, a CCNP or even a CCIE when it comes to networking, and then a project management professional, ITIL if you're into the leadership and management side of things. So there's those more advanced certifications that you can go after when you get into those specialist certifications. Choosing the right certification is important, but it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is actually achieving whatever certification you go after. So whatever you choose, make sure you go after it with full intensity. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and put down in the comments below what certifications you want to go after.